so we showed the, some of the strikes there that we could use a fist, but we prefer to use the open hand. And a lot of times people are very surprised about that. They go, you know, this is kind of a slap, which means they might not like it, but they could take it and they keep on coming. What's interesting is, is that you can get a lot more force out of a slap than you can a punch. And it's because of the type of force that you're getting. It's not just blunt trauma. If it was that, it'd be okay. The problem is if you hit something hard enough with your fist, you'll probably just break your fist. Right? Right. So to see this, take your knuckles carefully, gently, and kind of like that on the head once. And then take your hand open. Don't hit any harder than that. Hit the same. No, just let it be flimsy and relaxed. Which was worse. You could feel the yeah. knot of the yeah, knuckle right on this, the head, this, but this is going inside your head. Right, right, right. What I want you to do is to take a fist. Don't try to break the board. I want you to bounce your fist off there. Now, if you were gonna, if you were gonna punch that hard and really slam through that board, and you can feel that board, how would your knuckles probably do with that? Hurt? Did it break a knuckle hurt, or right? yeah? So what I want you to do is that same force you were transferring inside your head. I want you to put through this board, and this is the way we tend to strike with the open hands. And so lay your hand on there flimsy like that. And what I want you to do is pretend this is on fire, uh -huh. touch it and get away as quickly as you can. So touch it and get away. Okay. <laughs> and that's the kind of striking that we're looking for. That is the way that the one touch knockouts actually work. That was, that was interesting. Yeah. Let's, let's show everybody the board. It's a real board. It's not, uh, not fake. Yep. Right. Well, we'll let you do another one. And we'll let you play with the board for a second here first, which is what I should have done with that one. And go ahead and try to bend that a little bit. Bounce your fist off of there a bit. And that'd break your hand if you really punched yeah, it? It could, sure. And just slip it right in there. And then just do exactly what you just did a second ago. Same, same. This board is no, no more, no easier, no harder. Your hand hurting you? No, not really. Okay. Well, let's, let's, this would be a good time for us to talk then about, uh, about some things as we wrap up the, the talking part of the, of the program. First of all, I, I think you need to show, tell everybody that what we've been doing here is kind of a slow motion movement, correct? Yes. Okay. Talk yeah, about that and for be me. Beginners, when you come in the door, you're going to learn about the speed that you've been learning at today. Right all the way through and you're going to get comfortable with the moves and how you move and placement and uh, positioning and then how to, sh how to really strike through because I can strike through you if I go slow right. without damaging you and yet see where the damage would occur and right. how and those kind of things and so it's safe. Everybody goes home and nobody goes to the hospital and all of that. At the same time you're learning how to do the kind of movement you're going to need and then as you get more comfortable the speed comes so that um, once, once you've kind of been doing it for a little bit, um, not, not wicked fast, just, you know, this kind of a thing. And then I've got them in the placement there. And there's the broken arm. And there's the face straight into the floor. And there's the rib. Right. And all of that. And you right. saw the speed that we went at. It was several times what you and I are going. Right. And you work at that pace for a while. And then quickly. And it gets faster. Right. With training and time. And right. Practice. Quickly, please. How fast do I have to move if I understand there's the arm break, the other position, if I understand the placement and the movement? I can still go reasonably slow enough that I'm going to be able to do this like my teachers when I'm 70 and 80 and advanced years, mm -hmm. which is really a long-term training goal of mine. And what I've seen that my own students, as they gain some of the ones from 20 years ago who are now in their 60s and mm -hmm. 70s, can still do this movement. Mm. Fascinating. Well, I, I, think, I think what you've shown us tonight is, is, is amazing. And, and as we were talking a little bit off camera, when I came into this tonight, I really just expected to shoot a program and go home. But I feel like I've learned quite a bit here tonight. I mean, now I couldn't go out and probably do some of those moves, but I feel like I could defend myself a lot better than I could before I came here tonight. So I think that's a testament to you and to what you teach. And, uh, and it was in a very non-threatening way. So... Kudos to you. Thanks. Thank you. Richard Clear. Clear Sealot, is that right? Clear Sealot okay. and Street Kung Fu. Give me your phone number. 379-9997. And that's area code 865-379-9997. Come by and check it out. I mean, no pressure. And, uh, and believe me, it, uh, it'll work.